Hi everyone. So I am, I know I haven't had any update. I definitely want to do my monthly update and I'll do that next Saturday or Sunday. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys about my breastfeeding uh, experience in these first couple weeks. Uh, first off, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, I probably shouldn't be making this video because I should be out eating and doing all that stuff. We have a few hours until we have to go, so I'm all ready and I figured I'd probably just make this video and get it done because uh, I've had a lot of interesting things happen. Uh, I am continue I am fully still breastfeeding, uh, but we just got a couple bumps in the road, so I kind of wanted to let you guys know. And I haven't made a video in a while, so it feels kind of weird. So first off, breastfeeding was going really great in the beginning. I was just doing what I thought I was supposed to be doing, which was nurse on one side for 20 minutes, and if you satisfy, you satisfy. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, only nurse for 20 minutes because that's 20 minutes. He's not really, um, or you want him to nurse for at least 20 minutes because you need him to get that hind milk. And there's no need to nurse on the other side. Well, I was wrong, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So, of course, as most of you might know, my mom came down and visited. And she's here for today and then she leaves tomorrow. She was here for two weeks. And she breastfed us on either side for 15 to 20 minutes and we were really healthy babies. We all gained weight really well. Uh, we were all really healthy all the way through our childhood through um, breastfeeding. So, I, but I told my mom, well, you know, I was told that I shouldn't really be doing this. And of course, you're told so many different things. You really don't know what to go with. But because I wasn't having a big problem, he was pooping, he was peeing, I thought everything was fine. So, uh, I went for his two day or three day appointment and we, he wasn't quite a week and I don't know if I talked about this in my one week postpartum, but uh, we had found out that he was 9'3 and that he was getting an ounce of breast milk when he was feeding on one side for 15 minutes. So she said that was fine. But he wasn't up to his birth weight, which is 9.8. So he still had five, about five ounces to gain by the Friday, and this was Wednesday. So, you know, I was a little bit discouraged. She was telling me that, you know, what are you doing? Um, do you nurse on the other side? Do you only nurse on the one side? What, you know, how is his latch, all this stuff? Now, I was having issues probably by the third day. My right nipple got cracked, it bled. I was using the lanolin, which has helped a lot. I use it every day, every feeding I have it on right after uh, because it hurts and uh, it was really bothering me and you know I found out that that's a bad latch. So uh, it healed because uh, I made sure to, to break the, the suction if his latch wasn't working and he was starting to hurt me. So after I figured that out, everything was fine in terms of me feeding, but I was noticing I was not wanting to feed so much on the right, or I was really hesitant towards feeding on the right because it hurt so much. So, but I was still feeding him and he was still satisfied. Like he would pop off my boob and just be like milk pretty much pouring out of his mouth. So I was like, this kid's full. So she told me that I should start pumping. So what I did was, on the Wednesday I went home and I was advised to feed him on both sides even if he doesn't want to feed. So feed him on the right, feed him on the left or whatever and if he starts to do the flutter which is like they kind of shake their tongue or you can actually notice that they're not actually sucking anything back uh, like no suck swallow sound to just take him off the boob and he's probably fine or burp him and see if he wants more. And that was crazy. I He ate off of both of my boobs, like Wednesday, Thursday, I couldn't eat, like I was really surprised. And it was a little bit uncomfortable, and it takes a lot longer, it's about almost 40 minutes of just feeding, but I was willing to do whatever I wanted because there was no way I was going to want to have to supplement unless I actually wasn't producing any milk. Now she also told me to pump, so I have a pump, I have the Medela Dial Advanced one I think. And I was told that I should get the hospital grade one, but as you girls know, those pumps are really expensive. 
that you get, I had to pay for it for mine with my own money, and I wasn't about to go and have to rent one when mine's in perfect good condition. So I ended up just using mine, and the first two days, I only got about half an ounce or an ounce out of one boob at a time after my feeding or sometimes just on the boob that didn't get, you know, drained. And I was also told that, uh, you know, if your boob's not, um, I don't want to say solid, but just feels more dense than fluffy, that's a full boob. A fluffy boob isn't, you know, there's nothing really in there. And I was having a fluffy boob the whole time. And I actually, after my engorgement, I noticed that I didn't really have, my boobs were back to where they, what they look like when I first got pregnant, which wasn't very much. So that was really weird. And I was like, there's got to be something wrong. So I started breastfeeding and pumping. Breastfeeding and then right after breastfeeding, I would continue to pump, even if there was nothing there, for at least 10 minutes. And sometimes it was uncomfortable, but I needed to get my milk supply up, and I never knew that this would help. And, you know, so many people tell you to take, like, fenugreek and all that, and I'm sure that's awesome. And I was willing to go and get that kind of stuff if it didn't help, but it worked. So by Monday, this was Wednesday, by Monday I went back um, in that morning I fed him on one, he fed for about 10 minutes on the other one, and he was done. So I pumped on that one, I got 3 ounces out of that, and almost 2 ounces out of the other one, which had already been completely empty, what I thought was completely empty, and he was full, like really full. So I almost got 5 ounces in one feeding, plus whatever he had gotten. So my milk supply totally went up, just from pumping and feeding, pumping and feeding, and pumping every single time I fed besides the night time. So I probably was pumping about five or six times a day. And then at night time, I would obviously not be pumping because I'd be like half asleep. So I went to the doctor or to the lactation consultant on Monday, this past Monday, and he gained 10 ounces from last Wednesday to Monday. So he went above his weight, which is amazing. So he's nine, he was 913.4, so I think he's 10 pounds now because he feels so much more heavier, but I'm so happy. So I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that what's been going on with this breastfeeding, but if you guys have issues, talk to someone. Call your hospital. I'm pretty sure all hospitals have the same thing minded. Get a lactation consultant and have them help you. It was amazing, and stick to it. I mean, if you can, if you can breastfeed, breastfeed. You know, if you don't have any other issues of why you can't breastfeed, then do it and get the help you need. Because I cannot believe how much my supply has went up. It's incredible. I and so many women don't even have this problem. Like they can breastfeed no problem. They're they, you know. And I didn't think I was even going to have an issue. But again, I didn't really know too much. I thought I know, knew what I knew, but I didn't really know that much. So breastfeeding is going great. I mean, it was going good, but it's even better now. And uh, now he's going for longer stretches of sleeping. He's been asleep since 11, and it is now 2.15. And he is, I mean, he has this cute little thing where he'll, it'll, he'll take like a half an hour to wake up. And it's really cute, but he's really content now in eating and uh, he sleeps longer. Everything is going really great, but I don't want to give too much <laughs> into that because I know this is like frustrating. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm really looking forward to this because I'm Canadian. I had to miss mine in October, which is like the first or second week of October. So I missed mine, but because uh, I wasn't home and I didn't want to make one. But I will grab the little man because he's about to wake up the feed and you guys can see him real quick. There we go. My little sleepy man. His little outfit. Alright guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Bye. Oh.